to look at knee extension motion. And you can see it's when uh, the knee joint goes from an flex position back down to anatomical neutral or an extended position. And it is due to the muscles predominantly on the anterior th side of the thigh, which are in our quadricep muscle group. We have the rectus femoris, and then below the rectus femoris, we have the three vasti muscles, the vastus lateralis on the lateral side, intermedius, and medialis. And these comprise our quadricep muscle group. A few details about the muscles that create knee extension, the quadricep muscle group. They are considered the anterior compartment of the thigh. Um, the sartorius is also in there with them, but we'll focus on the quadricep um, muscle group. So you have four muscle bellies. They all attach to the patella and then the tibial tuberosity. So they share that attachment point. All of them are innervated by the femoral nerve and all extend the knee. Then there's some differences. The vastus lateralis, medialis, and intermedius are one joint muscles and they all attach to the linea aspera on the posterior side of the femur. And then the fourth, the most superficial, the rectus femoris, is a two joint muscle and it attaches to the AIIS, the anterior inferior iliac spine of the pelvis. And it, since it's a two joint muscle, it's a knee extensor as we saw, um, and also a hip flexor because the line of pull is anterior to the hip. And all of these muscles are knee extensors because their line of pull is anterior to the knee joint. Let's just look at this distal connection a little bit. They all um, merge, all these muscle bellies merge into the quadricep tendon, which goes from muscle to bone, which attaches to the patella. And then between the patella and the tibial tuberosity, we call that portion of the insertion the patellar ligament. We'll look at each of these muscles in, in individually. So again, since they're anterior to the knee joint, they create an internal knee extensor torque. Uh, and they are the rectus femoris, which is a two joint muscle, which comes up and um, attaches on the AIIS. Um, then the vastus lateralis, intermedius, and medialis. There are four muscle groups. Um, they attach to the patella and then to the tibia, as we saw. They're all superficial and you can palpate them. So you can feel the anterior portion of your thigh and those would be your quadricep muscle group. Except you can't really feel the intermedius because the rectus femoris is on top of that muscle. And these all, muscles all pull on the patella. And so sometimes people will um, consider if there's a muscle weakness, say between the medialis and the lateralis that it may be pulling the patella in one direction or the other. So let's just look at this. The rectus femoris, again, goes from the AIIS down into the tibial tuberosity. They're all the femoral nerve innervation. We have the vastus lateralis on the lateral side, again, coming off the linea aspera on the posterior side of the, of the femur. We have the intermedius, which is deep to the rectus femoris, Go, again going into the tibial tuberosity. And then we have the vastus medialis. Some uh, resources may break this down into um, the vastus medialis longus and vastus medialis obliquus, um, but we're going to still call them quadriceps instead of a muscle group with five muscle bellies.